Nearly 100 days since we have casted for our favorite fish. This winter has had plenty of lows. Robbie, we're gonna die if this snow doesn't stop. This is the whiteout conditions. And some amazing highs. This is the freaking biggest pike of my life. Our 2019 musky season starts now. I got her. Oh. Welcome back, day two of our first musky hunt of the year. Brent, what's up today? What's the what's the situation? Is it a little different weather? It, it is a little bit different weather. Yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna get a little bit more sunshine today. Yep. Yesterday morning we had sunshine. We were seeing active fish, and then the rain came in. Yep. And, and then it got things. super slow. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. They didn't like that deal. No, no they didn't. You would think that it would have turned them on, but for some reason, I guess it just pushed them yeah. right down to the bottom. Yep. So we're gonna get a little sunshine today. So. We're gonna see if it Let's see if that changes stuff. things. Yeah, that's for sure. Today's conditions, by the way, are uh, northeast, 10 to 15, high of 52-ish, yeah. 54 maybe, and uh, you know some higher pressure. Right. But. I don't know. I mean, yesterday wasn't textbook musky day. I mean, calm, warm, rainy, cloudy. You know, they love that stuff. But uh, today's a little bit different. We'll see if things will change for us. And we got a little bit of different water too. Yeah, we'll yep. be moving around a little bit. Oh, so yeah. let's get after it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, folks, what do we got? What do we got? Are we gonna go glider or are we gonna go twitch bait? Rob, you going twitch? You got chubby on? I got chubby on. All right. You know what? I gotta get this thing wet. Where's my chubby? So Brent, mm -hmm is uh, playing around with some uh, some baits. And he definitely had the most action yesterday on, uh, I don't know, we're gonna call, I don't know, what are we gonna call it? The, the perky chubby? The perky chubby. <laughs> uh, I think we'll kinda stick away from that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but at any rate, this is a, a sweet glide bait he was nice enough to, to give us. And uh, we're gonna get this thing sharpened up and see how this one swims. Where, where's the one you were having all, all the action Yesterday, oh, uh, well, that's the one that someone hit a rock with. Yeah, somebody hit a rock with this one, but yeah, man. this is the one that had the majority of action yesterday, yeah. and that thing swims really sick. So, I have my own chubby, we'll just call it the chubby. How's that? That sounds great to me. Okay, folks, we got her all sharpened up. Let's uh, let's see how old Whitey works here. This is kind of like white Poseidon, we we like that doesn't take much to make it move. How did you know our color, Brent? <laughs> oh, 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 big, oh, nice man. one, nice one. Oh, I got it on my chest too. Just nice fish, man. Okay, it wasn't ginormous. But it was hot Dude, as Dude, that heck. thing ate it and just didn't get it. Oh, right first in. action. Yeah, well, that was definitely gotta be close to 40. Yeah, that was a nice fish. Oh, that is so cool. All right, well, well, we've only been fishing for 45 minutes or so, and Brent just got smoked <laughs> on his glide bait. <laughs> Man, that was cool. Saw the whole thing. All right, well, we'll get spot locked here and uh, make yeah. a few more casts if he's got a buddy. Sexy right here. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a nice oh, got him. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang. Couldn't. Yeah, why? I finally got a nibble though. That looked like upper 30. Yeah. Dang it, man. I just said this spot looks really sexy. Yeah. Go! Just grabbed it. Oh, look at you oh, say. You got a little cheek scale on there. Dang it, dude. I had a piece of that one, man. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting closer. Yeah, you're getting closer. Okay, that's sure. my first bite on uh, the perky chubby. Very cool. Yeah, it looks like an upper upper 30 inch fish. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's super shallow right here. And then it just kind of there's a little trough running in between a high spot 
halfway across the river here and obviously it just <laughs> i'm like wow this looks good yeah there's a muskie biting my lure maybe i'll cast again here Oh yeah. Get her. Go ahead. Don't worry about me. She's gonna eat that thing. Oh. Oh, she's grabbing the. Did she grab the tail? She's got a little mark on her other side. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. She wants that thing. She wants it. Oh really? Oh yeah. She here. She's coming back for it. Oh yeah. She's coming. She's coming. She wants that thing? Oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. Well, that almost just happened. There is a nice little fish sitting right here. A couple of casts ago, it looked like she was gonna open up on that thing. She she hunted it down. Yeah. Dang I it. Wanna show the rig, talk about this a little bit? All it basically is, is just a Kalen's 10 inch uh, grub. I am using a uh, one ounce jig head with a uh, I believe that is a it's an eight I believe it is um, usually I have a stinger coming off the back right here with a treble hook in case they short you know short hit it but um, definitely a producer that's for sure sight fishing them yeah just sight fishing it he spotted that one put it down just like yesterday and boom the thing just wolfed it this yep. one almost came really close to doing it I'm falling Okay, folks, well, the one o'clock update is we've had action from four muskies, two of which we should have boated. Yeah. Um, but that's obviously how muskie fishing goes. Um, right before the clouds kind of broke up, there yep. was probably the most activity. Uh, a couple of nice fish, too, some probably 40 inch class fish. I don't know. I guess uh, we're going to take a little run, it sounds like. Uh, amazing spot we just fished. So cool. I mean, man, boulders, cliffs, everything. What's the program now? Uh, well, I want to get to a little bit deeper waters. Um, take about a 10 minute trip down river, see what we can get ourselves into. But it's a little bit deeper waters, bigger boulders, um, and a little bit more structure down in that area. So see what we can find down there. Oh, nice fish, really nice fish. Just came up, come on. Oh, yeah. Come back, come back. Come back, come back, come on. Oh, come on. Nice fish, like 42 plus maybe? Man, came in really late. We have not had action for a very long time. Fishing a little deeper spot. The old white Poseidon. Man, that was crazy. First fall of the year, that was kind of weird. <laughs> So yeah, that was a really nice fish. Nice and bright, beautiful, probably 42 to maybe even bigger. Just when you think you're down, you're right back up again. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a morale booster. We have not seen a moving muskie for a very long time. What time is it, Brent? You called something before. Brent said four o'clock, things will start happening again. It is 3.41, so we might be at a start of a window here. Oh yeah, there we go. There's one coming. There's one. Eat that thing, would ya? Come on, really? Oh, she's, here we go. Here we go. Look at her snake on that thing. She is just hanging with us. Oh my gosh, how long can she hang on that thing? Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, look at her. Did she coast off or is she still there? Oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go.
Yeah, this is when somebody needs to say something. <laughs> Come on. That is just unbelievable. Still there. Oh my gosh, still there. That is ridiculous. Well, folks, that was a two minute to three minute follow from a monkey. And we still think it's there, maybe. Brent, have you seen anything like that? Sometimes. Sometimes. Not very often. No. <laughs> she was leaning into it like she this. Wanted she wanted it. She was sideways. She, was she wanted it. That wanted was unbelievable. Oh, she's on it. 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 Oh, she wanted it. She missed it. She's got, she's got, oh, no, no, no. She's still good. She's good. Oh, oh, she is. She's still there. Still there. Still there. She did. She just yelled. didn't hook it. Yeah. Just didn't get her. She didn't have it. Yeah, she... Okay, come on. Here you go. She's on again. She's gonna bite. Oh, yeah. Let her have it. She's nipping. She's nipping. She's nipping. She's nipping. One big three. Oh, she had the back. Oh. She had the back. She's got it. Come on. Come on. She's, come on. Come on. She's gonna eat. She's gonna eat. I'm big swirl. Oh, she did not like that. <laughs> She's right here. Let's see if this. She's on me now. <laughs> She's on me. Look at this thing. <laughs> what? Look at this thing. This thing is just playing. Get that jerk bait back in there. Well, that was pretty insane. Uh, we're talking like probably 10 minutes, literally, after this one fish. Uh, please give a little comment below. What's the longest you've ever worked a fish, had a fish at both sides? That's uh, safely the longest I've ever seen one happen. Oh, oh yeah, 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 you got her. I got her. You got her. I got her. <laughs> All right. Stay pinned there, girl. Stay pinned. Just a little zing, zing, zing. I thought I saw a flash out there. I thought I saw, ooh, upside down muskies. That is her. Yeah. That's definitely her. What do you think of that thing in your mouth? <laughs> okay, let's uh, look at you there, you rascal. <laughs> First muskie of the year, baby, bam! Only took 15 minutes after this one. Okay, okay, that is the first fish number one on the new Shum Tap Dancer. White bass, holographic pattern. I don't think there's any white bass in here, but she seemed to kind of like that thing. 15 minutes it yeah. took to catch this fish. <laughs> that, unbelievable, man. Everybody had a shot at it, just boom, finally happened. All right, there's one tag. Check this out, folks. We have numbered tags on these fish. Yes. Number two tags. These are Floy tags. These are the tags that we use to basically see how many times these fish are being caught and seeing if they're being harvested or not. But um, overall, just getting the lengths um, and just the overall data of the fish. On, where it was caught. Yeah, where it was caught and everything. Um, just something new that our uh, Department of Game are doing for Virginia now since it's becoming more popular and everything. We want to see how, how much fish are actually in our rivers right, and how sure. many of them are being caught. So. Well, the interesting thing, some of the waters down south, I mean, a lot of people e even eat the fish. Like yeah. Kentucky, there's what, a two fish limit there? Yep. Um, a lot of the fish, sounds like a lot of the guys let all the fish go for the yeah, most part here. It's a very low amount of people that keep them around here, you know, because I mean, it's come more and more popular, popular and they just want to see them grow and get bigger. So, Folks, we are in the glory days of musky fishing right now. We'll get the dad off these tags and we'll get her back. Okay, let's get a look at this Chamber of Commerce musky. <laughs> that is my first Virginia musky, folks, right there. So cool. Catching muskies in March. Dude, thank you. This place yeah. is incredible, yeah, man. I am problem. having so much fun here. I don't want to go home, man. 
This is this is where it's at in March. That just happened. Wow, 15 minutes to catch one muskie. <laughs> you know, it only took a day and three quarters, but hey, yeah. freaking got on the board uh, in March. You should come do this. This guy knows where they live. All right, folks, I am on the board for the year. And look, it even left me a nice souvenir of a tooth mark. Took off a hair of epoxy there. Let's get the hooks all dialed and sharpened up. And by the way, this would be a great time just to show really quick, check this out. This is our musky box for the trip. This is all we brought right here. This is the Lakewood Musky Junior. He said uh, jerk baits, glide baits, uh, maybe some rubber. That's pretty much everything we got in this little box. We got a nice little spot for our Hook sharpener, cutters, split ring pliers, whatever you need. Get that touched up. Yeah, and the thing is about this uh, this bait, the tap dancer here, is it's designed to be running current. Uh, it's a real slim profile like this. Uh, it really cuts the current well and seems to, you know, it, it, it keeps the bait from riding up super high, cutting the water like that, just like a, a pancake jig you would use on the Mississippi for walleye. So pretty slick, beautiful paint job color i guess it's not paint it's actually a holographic photo so there you have it bada boom bada bing That wraps up day two of our musky hunt. Another successful day. Another musky in the boat, thanks to this guy. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> First for Virginia musky for yeah. me, yep. absolutely. And Great. it was, uh, we all even had a piece of that fish. Yeah, yeah that was nuts. Another. That was yeah. definitely one of the coolest musky experience I've ever seen. But um, guys, make sure to get out with Brent because uh, this was awesome. The mountains, the scenery, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, we're pretty happy that we have one more day with Brent. Tomorrow's going to be the day. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's yeah, going yeah. to be the day. Freeze the charm. Yep. I yep. The third day should be pretty awesome. But yeah, we'll leave all of his, his links in the description below. And um, also got a YouTube channel, Blue Ridge Muskie. If you guys are uh, looking for more YouTube content, look that, up, that, that channel up because you guys got some awesome content uh -huh. on that down in probably the coolest musky waters yeah. uh, I've certainly ever fished. Absolutely, so check that out. Guys, thank you for watching another musky hunt. Um, hopefully tomorrow brings a little more bigger muskies. It'll be a banger.